All right, so in the last video, um, you learned the basics of how to use your WordPress site. Starting kind of where we left off there, let's um, uh, take a look at um, how to log into the admin login and some of the different things that you'll see there. Let's go ahead and log out of this uh, uh, version, this office. And we log out, we get to this login page again, and it's already remembered my admin name and password, but you would put in your admin name and password, and then you can log into your site as an admin user instead of as an editor. What we were looking at before, you saw a number of controls, but it's not all the controls you're going to see now when, we, uh, when this login uh, goes through, you're going to see a lot more controls. Now you can see that we have plugins, we have appearance, we have comments. Um, some of this, some of them are the same, like posts and pages and links and media, dashboard. But there are some new ones, like appearance. In the theme option, we can change the look and feel of the website. Not really recommended for um, for the average uh, user, but uh, at some point in time, you may decide, well, I would like to try a different look. These, uh, your your website, uh, more than likely, has been uh, sig significantly customized in order to uh, look the way it does. Uh, right now, so you have to recognize that changing to one of these themes will not keep everything intact, but the main content of the web page will, would stay the same. So it's important to recognize that you, you probably don't want to do too many changes bef uh, right away. And there are uh, many uh, themes uh, already loaded into your site. Some of these may or may not be there. You can find many more themes online if you uh, so desire. Widgets are an important part of uh, your web page and are um, some, of the, some of your themes will have uh, more use or different use of the uh, widgets than others. And I'll just show you briefly how to use that interface. Okay, So with your widgets, you can add um, different things to your um, different areas of your, of your web page. And basically that's determined by your theme. So if you look here in this drop down menu, you'll, you'll see the different places where you can have widgets. Notice the home page has a home page middle. Home page bottom left, home page bottom right, and home page sidebar. Okay, if I go over to this web page, let's look at the home page. This is home page middle. This is home page bottom left. Home page bottom right, and this is sidebar. And we can control the different things that are in each of these areas through these widgets. Now, if I want to take a look at sidebar page, uh, say sidebar home page. Let's go like here because this is from the home page, let's click show, and it will show me what I have in that sidebar. It looks like I have two different things here. One is this uh, little option here, going down here, and the other is this little watch for the video that's coming soon. Now when you go into these, you'll see, and this is why this is not, these, you're beyond basics now, again, this, you're looking at something that's a little bit more advanced. But when we look into here, you can see that there's a lot of HTML. In order to get this to look the way you want it to look, you have to use HTML. Now, there are some tricks uh, to be able to do that without having to learn HTML, but um, the best way to make sure that it's going to look the way you want it to look is to know how to code some HTML. So when you're done, then you would save your changes, and uh, you would be able to see um, the changes show up when you refresh your web page, just like uh, publishing. And you can look at the different, um, some of them, let's look at homepage middle, it's a good example of, uh, we'll click show. It's a good example of how uh, the homepage doesn't necessarily, I'm sorry, the uh, widget doesn't necessarily have to have a lot of HTML in it. So here's a, a widget that actually doesn't have a lot of HTML in it, and it's much more approachable. You can change that text quite easily. You don't have to add the HTML, but if you want to control the things within uh, the widget, you, you may have to add it. If I wanted to make something bold in there, I would have to put in a bold tag. Let's say we want to make Dr. Cummings bold, we can put B, and, and B, like that. <coughs> we can save that. We'll go in and refresh this. I'm not sure if this is saved yet, actually. Let's see if it shows up. Yes, there it is. Dr. Cummings has turned bold now. OK. 
Okay, but I don't really want that to be the case, so let's go ahead and edit that, change that, get rid of those bold tags, because I don't really want it to be bold. That's a very basic HTML tag that you can add in there. There are other things you can do. I'll show you the way to sort of get around it uh, in just a minute here. Let's save that change. Here are some other things you can add to your sidebars. You can add, uh, when you add pages, it actually adds links to all your pages to the sidebar. So you already have that in your nav bar, so you don't really need to do that. Uh, you can add a calendar, you can add archives of your posts. If you remember uh, when we talked about posts, posts are the blog like aspect of your web page. You can add um, the list of the monthly archives from your, from your uh, blog posts. You can add the links that you would control over in your links admin here. And it's an easy way to add it to any part of your page. You can add um, a login or a logout or uh, an RSS feed, some things here. This maybe not. You already have a search bar, so you don't need that again. Um, you can add recent posts, and that will show the most recent post on your blog. And this is probably the best way to uh, make your blog available um, uh, through your, if you have a widget-based homepage like, like we do here. So if we wanted to have news, a news sidebar, we would just add it to this sidebar right here, and then uh, we would add the recent post there and call it, uh, like, uh, there'd be some ways to control this. Let's go ahead and actually do this quickly. We'll add recent posts there. We can edit number of posts to show. We'll show three. Okay. And there should be a way to change uh, what that shows, what the name of those posts are. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what that looks like. Again, I don't want to give you a comprehensive, uh, pretend like we're giving you the comprehensive view of this, but uh, something to. Yeah, there you go. Got kids. What is behavioral optometry? Moscow uh, Vision Clinic gets new life. And these are featured posts that you can also access through this featured content uh, plugin. Plugins are kind of a whole other um, aspect of this. There are a couple of plugins installed. One of the plugins is something that makes this back end look like it does. Um, these controls look a different way through this fluency admin plugin. And activate and deactivate them. You can find new plugins. You can search uh, the plugin directory. There's lots of different things that will do different things. As an admin, you can control different authors and users. You can add other users. Settings are an important part of your uh, admin login as well. And um, you can control when you install a plugin. There will be often be a uh, see the where. We have a featured content gallery plugin, and there's an, there here are the controls for that gallery. And I won't go into all the details of that. There's lots of information from each of the plugin um, creators about the uh, the plugin. Let's go look at one more thing from the admin uh, background. If you really get into the uh, HTML and editing the page, and you want to make all kinds of changes, you can change many things uh, from within. Um, the editor. And you can see here that you're looking at kind of a list of all your pages and uh, you're looking at code. And you can actually adjust the code and when you do that things change. And um, it's important not to mess with this if you don't know what you're doing. But uh, if you do, if you're uh, fluent with this kind of thing, you can um, go in and change these things. It often makes sense to uh, uh, back up these pages before you make changes as well. All right, well, I think that's an introduction to your admin login, um, showing you some of the new tools and uh, new menu items that you have available to you. Most of the other things are very similar. Um, the media library is something that uh, you have either as an editor or as an admin. We didn't really look at it all that much in the previous um, demo, but uh, here you see that we basically just have uh, images in our uh, media library, but you can add other things. You can add audio and uh, 
other files to your media library and then um, add them to your pages, view or delete them, um, attach them to things. have a lot of control. It's a very powerful engine and uh, I think you're uh, really going to find it uh, makes controlling and updating your website much easier. So enjoy your new website. Thanks for watching.